What inspires my work is the contrasting worlds of historic architecture and outdoor adventure. Painting what one loves is very important and I love to travel and I love backpacking and canoeing and, and skiing and those things all figure into my work. My favorite mediums are watercolor and charcoal. Watercolor for its uh, sense of translucency, uh, transparency, and also the ability to achieve really dark and saturated colors. Charcoal, I love the simplicity of using charcoal. Nothing more fun than a big white sheet of paper and a stick of black charcoal and the simplicity of that and then all of the gradations in between. My process begins by exploring a space, whether it's a landscape or an architectural interior or a street scene, and actually experiencing that space and being there and waiting for a transient moment of light and then taking as many reference photographs as I can. One of my favorite experiences was hiking up to Abbott Pass Hut in Yoho National Park. All that was left of the light of the of autumn really was this shard coming down the shoulder of Lefroy and down into Lake Oisa. The painting that came out of that is a construct of a number of different photographs of that sort of that probably about a 10 minute time period that we had when when the light was changing and shifting over the mountains. And so, it took, you know, the best of the sky and the best of the light on the shoulder and, and then the light on the lake itself is actually just a construct of imagination. And I was just hoping it looked like that. When I'm back in my studio, I use different reference photographs and pull different elements from each photograph, almost in a, almost in a sort of a collage way. The lightest, point in a painting, say it's a, a street lamp that's lit, is the white of the paper. I don't use any white in my paintings. And so I paint around that point of light and leave that paper perfectly clean. And in the end, as you darken the pigment or darken the paint around it or the charcoal, it, it's as if the lights start to come on. And so that paper has to remain pristine. And if it doesn't, then you've lost your sense of light and you might as well burn it. I think the goal of my work is not to create uh, an exact likeness of a scene. It is more to be accurate to perception or to my experience of a place. A painting for me is finished when I've reached a certain technical level and a certain amount of detail, the right amount of detail, of course, but also, and most importantly, is that it has to have an emotional power. It has to surprise me when I come around the corner and look at it unexpectedly. It has to sort of jolt me and, and bring me back to where I was when I was maybe standing in that exact landscape or standing in that cathedral. It has to have a sense of light, and if I haven't done that, then it's, it's not finished. <laughs>